folks and welcome to the Skippy Barber at Imola and uh, we did qualify uh, mainly because you can see my safety rating has gone up I'd like to have shown you that race but some turnip decided to hit me that was in the Audi R18 at Le Mans good place to farm uh, SR if you need it and uh, yeah so we've had a terrible few runner races and we're down to 2.6k so we need to crack on and uh, have some decent finishes hopefully and uh, get that a bit higher uh, otherwise, fingers crossed, I'll catch you with the green flag. The track temp is 46 Celsius, 12 laps. All right, Tony, nice and neat, stay out of trouble. Floor it. Long wait. Starts all right, let's build on it. Not sure what happened there. You need to give back the time gained. That's annoying that I got an off track for it though. Oh my god, my tires are completely fudged. I think I've lost my front wing as well. Well, that was interesting. I think I touched him a little bit before we went in there, but I think he lifted off very early. At least we can have a good look at that replay at the uh, at the end. Meanwhile, I need to try and catch up with the boys ahead. Big sideways moment. Marty has disappeared into the distance, mainly because of me, I think. <laughs> Right, I am catching up to these boys, so maybe there's a podium in in, uh, in sight. The leader has just done 205.8. 
Horrible happen. I'll take that. Definitely gonna take that. Just cut the track. Take that one as well. Can I catch up to Matey Boy up ahead? Limits. 
Oh, I thought there was going to be another one then. That was going to be costly. I think it stayed at 3.2 the gap. What did he do last lap? 5 1. 5 0. He didn't really catch up to him a lot, did I? King, down, King. Have I just really lost all that time to him? No, nope, it's just eye racing being weird. Thanks, we have to push together. This is really frustrating. I'm not gaining on him. Not like that, anyway. We've had a cut warning. Keep it tidy, please, Tony. You need to slow down to get back the time gained. Come on, go down. Perfect. Only lost a second. Well, at least I might have the fastest lap of the race. I mean, it was aided with slipstream. <laughs> but still. Oh, what do we do there? Oh, I've got me a uh, 06 something. Oh, maybe we won't. Maybe we will be here. Uh oh. I might try and take that in third, you know. Taking it very cautious through there now. I may as well lose a couple of tenths rather than a whole second like I did last time.
And don't want that coming onto the most, uh, well, the longest straight. Bit of wheel spin. What was that? Ah, uh, 4.9. Four Your lap time was 205.00. We need to find a tent in sector 2. Yeah, third when the tyres are nice and warm. Definitely the way to go forward. beat me. I think that was the guy that I took out though, so whoops. Don't know what I did there. Off track. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be an off-track, definitely. Jeez. Way too much curve. Oh, shush. I've got seven off-tracks I can get before I get DQ'd. Uh, goodbye, 2.68 uh, last, though. A frustrating one this one can't seem to get a good string of laps together mainly because I haven't been skippy for a load of weeks but Me too. Come on, that was a silly one. Just it. We were okay though. At this point, we had that off track though, because that felt like a relatively good lap. Push now. We might win this. Uh, no. I don't think we're going to win this. Oh, <laughs> there's only a few thousands quicker. Big curves, big curves. New fastest lap for Domingues, 204.46. Oh, 
Oh, he's definitely flying. Well, that's how powerful the slipstream is around here. He's just there. He's just there. If he made one mistake, I'd have him. What did he do last lap? Wow, fair play to the man. Oh, I did a 2 4 and all. Let's see if we can get into the lower fours. Apex in there as well, somewhere. Right, last lap to do the fastest lap of the race. Am I going to do it? Probably not the way I've been driving. Oh, sh sugar. Thirteen, that's insane. Hmm. A bit late now. <laughs> oh, deary me. Can I get DQ'd before the end of the race? Concentration pace. I want to see if I can get the fastest lap. slow that. Is he saving fuel? Just gained like a load of time on him. I couldn't have saved that much. I've only got half a gun left in the tank.
Oh well, P2. And what do we get? Come on, I really hope we get... I don't think it was good enough for the faster lap, to be honest. A little bit scruffy. Yeah. Well done, Tony. Great drive. That's oh. a podium. Nah, it wasn't too bad. I think we need to go have a look at that lap one incident, because uh, that was the biggest dictator of the race. Right, so after a very long discussion about this, um, in a nutshell, he thinks it's all my fault. I tend to think it's a racing incident, because if you look here, well, as I muck that replay up completely, get out of the way fence, it will do in a moment. Right, if you look there as I really slow it down, we never actually touch. So you can see me on full brake, skippy slowing down as much as it can. We never actually come in contact. Right, so let me pause it there and go behind him. Sorry if that's making everyone feel rather sick. Now, he seems to get a bit of a slide on. Can you see that? Got a bit of an opposite lock on, car ahead of me. So I'm obviously going nearly my normal momentum. And he's recovering from a slide. Now, what caused that slide? No idea. Could have been a bit of net code, hence why uh, he got a bit of oversteer, because my nose in the uh, net code world, let's say, touched his rear end, lifted up the rear axle, he got a bit of a slide on, or he took too much curb. I don't know, I wasn't in the car. Could have been both. Anyway, so he's got a bit of a slide on, so he's going to be doing less miles an hour than what I am at the minute. So then, coming forward here, he then... Because I've got way more momentum at this point, and he then shuts the door. Now, I'm on the brakes, which obviously he's on the brakes a bit earlier than me. So at this point, when he's shutting the door on me, we're going to make contact. I'm far left as I can. There's not a lot else I can do. So we play it on, and he does keep coming across, and he does, you know, make contact with me, or I make contact with him, vice versa. So then, unfortunately, I run wide, and the car's behind. Obviously, he's now locking up because he wants to go in a straight line. I see him there, so I take evasive action with my other monitor, and we just miss again. But obviously, he gets rear-ended by a few other cars. So, all in all, I see that as a racing incident, because we could have done a lot more, both of us, to avoid this incident. So, I could have been not so far up his rear end, coming down here. But in my mindset, the lead is actually getting away from us. So... It's one of them things, like, I don't want the lead to get away because it slips through fest around here, so we all want to stay together. Obviously, I've ruined that, or he ruined that, whoever wants to blame, but I see it as racing instant. Now, could I have lifted down here? Watch my throttle input. Could I have lifted a bit earlier? Because he lifts there, and this is where the problem comes in. So should I have left more room for that? To me, this is a very fast kink. Um, I was discussing with him, apparently some people go down to third into that, that's fair enough, um, but uh, I, I would have thought a guy of uh, of his status, status or uh, a carnival one, I think he's got a 3600i rating, I would have thought he would have gone in there a lot quicker, but I shouldn't assume that because then it's obviously makes mistakes. But then he said to me, I should leave more room, right? I'll accept that, should have left more room. But then surely if he's telling me to leave more room, surely he should leave more room here. Is left. The track temperature is falling. It's now 43 Celsius. Thank you. Surely he should leave more room here. So you can't have one rule for one and one rule for another. Because I don't think that's very fair. See, he could have left me a bit more room there and I would have probably gone wide around this corner and probably lost a position. Do you, do you see my point here? So, like I say, if he's, if he's saying leave more space on lap one, then yeah, I'll agree with that. But likewise, leave more space on lap one. Anyway, we parted ways. I don't think he's too pleased with me. Um, but I've got no beef because at the end of the day, it's a race and instant. Unfortunately, these things do happen. He also said he was going to protest me, which was, uh, uh, again, it seems to be the go-to response, actually, when I seem to get taken out very legitimately after a race that I'd done. I think it was a skippy race a few uh, time ago at Canadian Tires. Guy tried to take me out after the, uh, after the trekkered flag. That wasn't, I protested that, saying, you know, we've got DD wheels, we can hurt ourselves. Um, it didn't get, he didn't get anything for it. Maybe he got a little slap on the wrist, but he didn't get a ban for it. So then if I get a ban for this, how is that fair? So I, I don't see how a protest is going to do anything, to be brutally honest. But if it, if it makes him feel better, it makes him feel better. But yeah, disappointing end to uh, an interesting race. Um, yeah, otherwise, guys, I'll uh, catch you on the next one.